Tasha, and this is Daryl. Once again, we're doing an extremely cool project. An extremely cool project. This is one you're not going to want to miss. A tubular cylinder thingy. A bowl. A bowl. A smaller bowl. A smaller bowl that has been prepared earlier with a bit of water. Half a cup. A measuring cup. Dishwashing detergent. Again, we'll be needing this, which is not used very much. It's a strip of cotton cloth. A strip of cotton cloth. And then we have the main of this whole thing, which is jumbo please. Very cold. Yeah, very cold. In fact, it's so cold that we shouldn't be touching it with our hands, really. Yeah, but this is just normal ice that's formed on the outside. So that's how cold it is. That's just condensation on the outside of the container. Ice formed ice. There you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do: bowl, water. In bowl. Then we need to put detergent and top, make this top. a detergent mixture. With water. Oh, it's nice. Go more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Bubbles. Yes, you're making bubbles. Fancy that. A little bit more. There you go. Awesome. And I then like you use bubbles. your finger to mix the detergent into the water. Now we take a cotton cloth. Not just yet. Once we've mixed. We need to rim the, the glass. So you get your detergent mixture and you put it around the rim of the bowl. Rim of the bowl, the rim of the bowl. Oh, uh, we're not supposed to get it inside the bowl. It doesn't matter. And now it's done because what we're going to do is we'll soak, soak this. the cloth in there. And while that's soaking, shall I put some? Yes, you should. We're going to get some we've dry, got ice. dry ice pellets. And I'm going to just pop some in here. Whoa! How cool is that? So now what Kasha is going to do is yeah, run the fingers along so it's not too wet. And then going to drape it over the far edge and bring it across to make a layer of bubble on top. No, it didn't work. Maybe it needs to be a little wetter. No, not quite that way. But you can imagine like you're just trying to make the what you'd normally do with your fingers. There you go. And now, watch this. Can I pop it? Wait for it. Wait for it. It's not going to pop. It will pop. Will it? It will. <gasps> How cool is that? 
Okay, for it. So cool. <laughs> and it's just. And so the dry ice is boiling in the water. Yeah. So let's do it again, shall we? And it's so cold that it's boiling. How cool is that? I find that amusing. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Handcam. Handcam. We're going to bring you in closer to the action. So here's our bowl of water. Kasha's is going to get a scoop of dry ice. Show us what it looks like before you pop it in. Uh, go a bit more. There we go. And so Kasha's is going to tip it in and as soon as it hits the water, she bubbles and boils. And Kasha's is going to get the strip again. and create a film over the top of the bowl. Yeah, you need to make sure that the edge has that film there. And start. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get the There we go. Let's try this. Oh, that's looking a bit better. Oh, almost. Got caught inside the bowl. There we go. Oh, it's inside the bowl again. We'll see what happens. Hang on. Oh. Can I pull it? Wait for it. And so you can see it boiling inside. Look at the bubble on top. And... You can pop it when you're ready, Kasha. Ooh. I love this. How very cool is that? And I then absolutely love this. We're actually getting some bubbles that are forming in there. Blow the smoke away. Now oh, we've got some... Um, <laughs> we've got some soap inside, which is what's causing the bubbles, but that's... We've now got another experiment with dry ice that's more fun than this. So let's do experiment two. Two. Dva. Whatever you want to call it. So we have our long tube and we're going to fill about to there. Yeah, about half full. And then we're going to get two cups or two scoops of dry ice. The first one, it's going to start boiling straight away, but that's okay because the second one you'll get quickly. Woo! And now put the detergent in, squeeze the detergent. And all of these bubbles are now full of smoke. And so the interesting thing with dry ice is the fact that it goes from a solid to a gas. It doesn't have a liquid state. Did you know that? And so that's why when it touches... Let's get this out of the way. Oh, that's very cold now. When it touches the warm water, it boils, so it goes instantly from a solid to a gas. And we're filling the gas with all this smoke. So this is when you see fog machines and weddings with dance floors. Are we running out of water or something? I think we're running out of water. Let's put more water in. Do you want me to do it? Quick. There you go. Yep.
And so with dry ice, you can actually touch it, but not for too long. So you always use gloves or something to handle it. Um, because it, it will burn just like a normal fire burn, but the cold burn will actually um, burn the skin. So it's best not to touch it. And because it goes from a solid to a gas, it purely evaporates. So we've got a mess on the table here because of the water that we had and the soap. However, dry ice itself never makes a mess. Never makes a mess because when it evaporates, it, it evaporates. It's gone. That's why it's a good, cool project. So there you go. Without, without the detergent, I love dry ice. I never thought I'd get to play with it. Like, I thought it was so rare. But, this is amazing. And we didn't have to wait weeks to get it. No, you can buy it from local stores at Port Adelaide or it's readily available. So that is it. Having fun with dry ice. Yep. It's a solid. And then it's a gas. No liquid form. There you go. Lots of fun. Yeah. I need to show everybody this. And <laughs> Inu. Or is that a snake? Tell me what it is. It looks like a frog. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> That's it. Dry ice. Yep. It's a solid. Then it's a gas. Isn't that cool? New liquid form for dry ice. If you've liked this project, then hit that button, let us know. Yep. And leave a comment. Yeah. Tell us if you managed to get to have a go. We'd love to hear your exploits with dry ice. We're going to go have a bit more fun. So cool. So cool. So before it all goes, we're going to go have some more fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Tell your friends. Share it. Tell you what, there's a trick. Share the video. Let your friends know that we've been playing with dry ice. And we look forward to seeing you on our next cool project. See ya!